Welcome to our Points of Light campaign. Uh, this group of heroes have just completed a 5th edition adaptation of Reavers of Harkenwald, vanquishing the Iron Circle just after hitting level 6 with a large battle in their fortress. Today we're starting the workshop Watches by Leon Barilaro, uh, which was published in MCDM's Arcadia issue number 1. Before we get to the usual session recap, we're going to do a small intro for each character. Uh, we begin with Johan, a former student who was expelled from the Lore Guild for uh, experiments that awoke his Warforged companion. So Johan Blackstone now hides his too pale face behind a plague mask and his alchemically enhanced body with an arcane armor of his own design. You fail in mentioning my superior intellect and how I'm carrying these lab rats through our journey. But whatever, you can continue. Exactly. Uh, Siege was crafted as a prototype centuries ago to turn the tide against demonic armies. He remembers bare traces of his time before Johan reactivated him, and having no other leads of his past, the Warforge now follows the exiled student into the world. His elemental nature appears to be evolving, as he's gaining new understanding of the core that powers him. And recently, the group met a trapped demon who let slip some tantalizing snippets of information of Siege's past service. Have you seen someone like me before? Who knows? Uh, Keldav is a young forest gnome who found his mind unappreciated uh, and made his way to what passes for civilization in the Nentir Vale. And there he found games of chance and skill that were an entertaining distraction. But his true calling appears to be as the tactician, where his finesse and intellect make him frighteningly lethal. I'm obsessed on calculating odds, because winning is fun. And reminding Johan is, he's not the smarter one is fun as well. <laughs> uh, in their adventures, they were joined by some uh, additional <coughs> heroes drawn to the plight of the people of Harkenwald. Uh, first was Maravilla, uh, who is remarkable even for someone coming from a family of heroic tradition. Uh, Maravilla Briamonte brought Moradin's hammer to Harkenwald, looking to craft a better world by crushing the reavers occupying the valley. Her divine connection allowed the heroes to discover the infernal secret behind the Iron Circle, and her miracles were instrumental in vanquishing the greater fiend who led them. I come from a huge halfling family. We like good food, walks in the beach, and tackle my friends, especially Johan. <laughs> yes. And finally, uh, they uh, were joined by Gufran, a blue-skinned tiefling, a follower of the imperishable flame and wielder of the sunblade. She joined the defense of Aldridge where her presence bolstered the resistance forces. And after her display brought her to the attention of the other heroes, she joined them in infiltrating the Iron Keep and proved herself a stalwart companion. Lahaba willing, I'll do whatever I can to help others to get a second chance, such as the one I was given long ago. And so this group completed a year-long uh, adventure that I adapted of Reavers of Harkenwald. And after their just desserts, we begin our session. So when last we left our heroes, after a long, tiring day defeating the Iron Circle Reavers, they had rescued the Baron, they were declared the defenders of Harkenwald. And Johan made a well-suited comment that led to him being well on his way to being declared the Wizard of Harkin. The one condition, stopping people from disappearing in the Green Crystal Tower. Naturally, the party headed into the tower, and while they were discussing where to set up the kitchen and their sleeping quarters, they found themselves transported onto the side of a mountain in the middle of the day. No longer near midnight, tired from a long day, they are now standing under the blazing sun a narrow path snaking down the mountain uh, away from them. You see this mountain extends uh, quite far uh, in, up towards the sky above you. It looks like you're about uh, 400 feet or 120 meters for those of us who use the correct system. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Johan, uh, no lies. You, no were, lies. you had been climbing up the stairs of the crystal tower to the second floor. You find yourself uh, furthest along this path, about uh, 30 feet behind you. Siege and Keldav, the two of you are standing on the path. And then another 10 feet 
uh, further down, Mara and Gufran, the two of you are standing around the supplies that you had brought into the tower to prepare uh, a meal. Uh, umitas, very important. Yes. Umitas. Yes, classic halfling uh, meal. <laughs> Cuisine. <laughs> yes. And so during your argument and discussion about whether there was an appropriate place for a kitchen or even the consumption of food in general, uh, the green crystal walls of the tower flashed and you found yourselves here. Johan, you who are at the top, you are standing at the end of the path, looking at a square opening in uh, a dark rock wall. It's a dark cave, but as you peer into it, you see a faint blue glow. And then there is a childlike voice that says, Hello, you are speaking with the structure for assisted magic. Please identify yourself and state your business. Uh, uh, what? Uh, uh, rep repeat that. Hello, you are speaking with the structure for assisted magic. Please identify yourself and state your business. Uh, uh, I'm Johan. I'm, I'm Johan Blackstone, and I, I'm the new owner of, of this tower. And if you don't want uh, kitchens in your quarters, let me in. We need to hurry. I am sorry, you appear to be in the wrong location. I am not aware of any towers nearby. Perhaps you climbed the wrong mountain? What? No, 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 no. I, I teleported here from, from the tower. The crystal tower. Oh. While Johan is arguing with an opening in the dark rock wall, what do the rest of you do? And give me a moment while I start playing the music. Well, the ambiance. So can all where of you are, see the picture? Where yeah. are we? Yes. Is there any way, well, because Keldav did, I mean, it was night the last time we were on the tower, but I, de I did what, uh, like watch out the, the window. Yes. In the top floor, I, re I remember that. So is there any kind of check I can do if I can remember if we're in the same place or this is an absolutely different place. Sure. Uh, it, for you, it was only last night that you came to the tower the first time and were teleported to a completely different uh, structure. That structure was ancient, thousands of years old, and you managed to get up a chimney to look outside. Uh, it was nighttime, uh, what you were looking, but you were seeing a, a landscape that had gently sloping what look to be dunes. This, as you can see from the image, you're standing on what looks to be a gently rising mountain, and beyond that there's fields, you see what are probably rivers in the distance. No dunes, nothing like what you saw last time you were teleported. Okay, so I look at Siege, because Siege is just beside me. Yes. And I look at Siege and I'm like, I think we're not in the same place as before. I think the same is too open. Last time was triangular form. Uh, this tower uh, looks like a like a mountain. <laughs> yeah, I think I think I think the magic went wrong. Hey, Johan. What? Uh, you did you you know we're not in the same place, right? I I don't know maybe. Is an, a, another side of the tower. What what do you know about magic? Maybe, maybe th this is an, another tower. No, I don't know about magic, but I do know about like mountains and dunes and fields, and they're different. Can a mountain? They are. Can a to tower be inside another tower, and inside another tower, and inside another tower, and inside mm. another tower? <laughs> Does it look familiar for any one of us, this landscape? Uh, no, it's... You've seen gently rolling fields uh, in the Nentir Vale. There is one mountain uh, that is uh, quite well mm. known in, in the Nentir Vale. It's called Thunderspire. But that is a far uh, steeper mountain. And that is ringed by a storm roiling at the top. 
you look up to what you can see, and while this mountain is quite tall, the slope is much gentler, and there's no sign of the perpetual storm that is at the top of Thunderspire Mountain. Is, so, is this a similar biome that uh, uh, Harkenwald? Uh, it not Harkenwald, but the rest of the Nintir Vale. So it's not the thick forest that surrounds uh, the Hark the actual Harken Forest. The that mm -hmm. surrounds uh, the place where your adventures have been taking place the last few weeks, but. It does look similar to the, the Moon Hills area around Falkrist uh, or the plains uh, that where most of the farming in, mm -hmm. in the Nentir Vale happens. I, I'm here for... I need to enter the tower. You say there is no tower. What are you? What is here? What is this place? I'm on I am the structure for assisted magic. Are you in need of assistance? Yeah. Hmm. I, I, I am in very need of assistance. I should hmm. so, I should be in, in, in a tower. Why I, I, I'm in the mountains? Hmm. And I, then you hear the sliding of stone as uh, the blue glow illuminates further uh, in front and you can see a small uh, 10 foot wide by uh, by about 20 feet uh, chamber further in the inside the the rock wall and move over here where as the door opens oh, okay. opens. <clears throat> I'm gonna look to the group. I wanna see how far Mara is <laughs> with the chocolate. <laughs> He's about 40 feet down. Yeah, like Mara, Gufran, what are you guys doing? You have a bunch of bundles of food, blankets, uh, supplies that you were planning to stock the, the crystal tower with. Do you really want to go in there before eating? Uh, these umitas are are warm. We should eat them now, shouldn't we? I mean, we haven't cooked yet. We we were looking for the kitchen. Oh. Do you have a kitchen in there? I I screamed to the. I need an assistance. I need a kitchen. There is a kitchen in the staff quarters. Great. So I what? I. <laughs> I go to the door. Okay. Okay. Maybe th this is not uh, our tower. Before, yeah. <laughs> before, yeah. I, I say, I say, there was definitely no staff uh, quarters, so this is definitely not the same place. So let me go first and check for traps. Oh. I'm gonna s look at you like very suspicious. I'm like, <laughs> you look at Keldav and I'm generally like, I mean, if you want to go, I'm like, I just... You, you are on this whole Humita deal. I don't, I don't want to near my tower. I don't care about the Humitas, man. Uh, what did this tower look like? Uh, ancient. Triangular. Well, triangular. Several, floor, several floors. Some yeah. water elemental that tried to kill me. It had a demon. Uh, and maybe they didn't have stairs. You teleported between each level. That makes sense. A triangle seems a terrible shape to include stairs in. <laughs> was the base of the triangle on the ground? Or was that the highest floor? Oh. I mean, it, it was a triangle the, the whole through, like the base where the demon was. That was a triangle. Yeah, the top was a triangle. Ah, it was a triangular prism. Thank you. What? <laughs> I don't care. And and I'm gonna enter the tower. I I, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> okay. Mm. Yeah, try it. Uh, sure. Sorry, guys. Wait, before um, oh. it's the map showing you. Uh, 
with good res resolution, or it, it's yep. just me? It does look blurry to me. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. For me, it's okay. For, for me, it's okay. Perfect. For me, it's blurry. Okay. It's a heavy map. Let's uh, see. You. Yeah, I give it. There time. isn't much to see here. Yeah. Uh, so. That before I go through, I I scream to the mountains. Yo le de hee I hear someone. Shut up. So yeah. Let me sleep. After oh after God. a second, you hear the echo come back to towards you, and then you hear, ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> I go through. Excellent. Okay. So, uh, you step into a this stone uh, hallway. The ceilings are are about eight feet or two and a half meters uh, high. They're quite rough stone. It seems like, Johan in particular, you've been in many dwarven crafted buildings. This is much more rudimentary the way the stone was carved in, but it is immediately clear that there are hundreds of runes carved into the stone itself. Uh, and that is what is creating the pulse of blue light that occurs every time the voice uh, speaks to you. Different from the tower, the triangular tower that you went to, these do not part seem to create an aesthetically pleasing pattern. It is much more utilitarian. Mm, I see, I see. Any idea how old this place is? Like, looking at, at the stone? Uh, make an intelligence check, and if you were proficient with mason's tools, I you have... would add your proficiency. I have expertise in any proficiency with a tool. That oh, then yeah, tool expertise. Sure. Clearly, uh, the the Dwarven Lore Guild puts a lot of effort into educating about masonry. It is extremely important to them. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so okay, that that roll sucks. But uh, intelligence uh, that seven plus five. Uh, Plus uh, two, 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 six. So total? 13, uh, 18. 18. You're looking at the, the rock. This is very recent. You think six months? It's as raw as rock can be. But the way that it's been carved, either whoever was doing this had literally tools of a giant like a giant hammer and chisel that they were using to carve away at these rocks or most likely they were using magical means like literally slicing off chunks of rock to get uh, to the end of the, the hallway to this size and then using similar methods to carve these runes directly into the, the rock okay maybe this is not my tower but maybe this is a better tower. And I relay the information to the group. This tower is more arcane than mechanical? I, I, There's really? certainly an arcane voice coming out of the walls. Yeah. Uh, so who has gone in through the door? Johan went in, Keldav and Mara went in. I think I will be behind, the, the, behind them. Okay, so um, remember that that Kiljab was going to look for traps, so yes. I remain a little bit. Yeah, the things that Johan so, didn't. That's the door. Oh, okay. uh, that slid open. Are, have you stepped over it? No, um, no. Yo Johan okay. killed the pass. I mean, I I'm checking for traps, even though mm -hmm. Johan is like, I don't care right now. I was like, dude, I'm gonna yeah. do it anyway. Mm -hmm. So Kelda, like when you step in them inside, go ahead and make an investigation check. But you you hear the voice coming from the wall near you. Hello, I am the structure for assisted magic. Please identify yourself and state your business. Give me, let me roll for the, the yeah. investigation first, and then I'll answer. So it's twenty four investigation. Whoa. And I'll answer, oh. currently we are known as the defenders of Harkenwall, and we just came to 
understand what's happening. Harkenwald. Sylvan for Harken Forest. That's what it says. Uh, with your investigation, you, you quickly spot uh, the three doors. Uh, the door that is closest to you, you're uh, checking for traps. The It's an iron door, quite uh, heavy. It's It uh, appears to be locked, but you're pretty confident that you could pick the lock. It's not uh, particularly complicated. The door itself, while heavy iron, probably Siege could bust through it. Maybe Mara or Gufran as well. Uh, there's no traps here, and you notice, similar to Johan, there's not enough dust gathered in the, the grooves of the runes carved on the ground for it to have been open for very long. Um, or, and you take a look at how there is a, a small accumulation of dust on the other side of the door, there is a mechanism for cleaning uh, this corridor. Okay. Uh, by the way, uh, this room is like regular sized. It's not yeah. like really giant. Okay. No, no, it's eight feet. The the ceilings here are mm -hmm. eight feet high, so two and a half meters. Uh, comfortable for all of you. Stage could easily like reach up and touch the the roof if he wanted to. Dodge. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll convey all that information. Um, I'll actually say, say that to Johan. Like, this, apparently this just cleans itself. Do you mm -hmm. know anything like that? Like, Yeah, I mean, you can conjure a tiny servant or a, an invisible servant that can clean for you. Like, oh, okay. why, why do you ever want to waste time cleaning? Like, com come on. Good point. Well, uh, is there any preference on the door we want to open, or do we just talk with the thing? Uh, uh, hey, wait, let me go in. And I go in, and I touch um, the symbol of Lahaba on my, on my armor, and I say, Lahaba, please show me if there are any of your enemies around us. And I will use uh, Divine Sense. Yeah. Sure. That shows you Celestials, Fiends, Undead... 60 uh, feet. Element. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 only those three. Celestial, Fiend, and Undead within 60 feet that are not behind total cover. There is no extra plane of presence uh, that is uh, pinging to your senses. The rest of you see as Gufran's eyes uh, glow with the golden uh, light of the imperishable flame. And uh, as you as you sweep your gaze through, uh, you hear a voice go, hmm, Warn. <laughs> okay. Do you have to uh, like add comments to anything we do? Be weird about I'm it? Search for assistant magic. I provide assistance. Well, well our assistant. Have you seen a demon called Steve here? <laughs> I have not seen any demons. Thank here you. or anywhere. Thank you so much. Where, where, where is the owner of this place? What is this place? This is the structure for assisted magic. The owner... The owner is Amari Bachi. He funded... The development of the structure. Amari, what? Sorry, this is but B A C C I. Cool. Okay, this this is not our tower, and we can't take it. At at, at least we have to steal it, maybe. <laughs> Wait, Johan, for a sec. Uh, how long has it been since Amari Bachi was here? Amari has not visited the tower. Ever? Sorry. It, the voice does not say tower. Uh, uh, the, it says Amari has not visited the structure. Sounds like free real estate for me. Do you want this How can we call you? 
You may call me Sam. Hello, Sam. I'm Siege. Hello, Siege. What is your purpose? <laughs> That's a loaded question. <laughs> <laughs> it's the yes, same sir. thing it's been asking everybody. Yeah. Identification and purpose. Why you're here. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking back. That's deep, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to, to the Warforge, it's like... Mm. Uh, uh, did you have time for my backstory? No. <laughs> a, a little bit of smoke comes out of Siege's head. Like... Uh, I'm uh. gonna just open one door. Like, the nearest to me. Okay. Uh... You, you reach the door, and uh, the, the voice comes up and says, The door to the library is locked. Oh, wait, wait. There is a library here? Yes. The door How? is locked. How can I gain access to the library? Hmm. And it, it, it's thinking for a bit. Uh, <laughs> Loading. <laughs> Mara. What do you do? You're, you're like standing outside. You've heard all this uh, voices, uh, all I, this conversation. Sam, a question: Is there another divine uh, being in inside the structure? A divine being? No, living, living, alive, like ah, me. A living being. Yes. Oh, this is. Um, it would be dangerous for us? Hallway is not dangerous. Could you state your name and uh, your purpose? My purpose? Well, my name is Maravilla and my purpose is to crush my enemies. <laughs> no, I just want the kitchen, please. And maybe claim ownership of this structure. The kitchen is next to the staff quarters. Are you staff? Uh, no. Hmm. She's a halfling. <laughs> the staff quarters are currently empty. If you wish to use the kitchen, I will open the door. Thank you. And. You guys hear as this door, the door to the south, unlocks. I stay like, excuse me, excuse me, with yes, my choclos. I, I go to the, so the, I don't know, the place where the voice comes, uh, and I say... It comes I'm out from every, every okay. surface. I look up um, and I say, I'm Gufran. My purpose is to help people. Is there any people here that need help? I provide assistance. I suppose... I could use some help. How can I help you? <laughs> it's like the retail worker, like... <laughs> there is the anyone. library is in some disarray. The garden hasn't been maintained in several weeks. It is behind schedule. So, uh, Mara, you move uh, closer inside. This door unlocks, and you see a long hallway, uh, narrower than when you've uh, been in, but the same height, the same uh, runes etched uh, along the walls. There are multiple uh, doors in here. Uh, you see a... A small trail of light go along the wall and stop uh, at this door here and say, and sort of the outline of the door uh, glows faintly. I'm going to walk inside. I, I push it with my, my feet to open the door. Okay, so because you're standing in front are... of the... Yeah. Siege, mm -hmm. uh, when you step inside, mm -hmm. uh, you hear the voice. 
Oh, that is interesting. You are fuzzy. There is so much static. I cannot determine what is happening within you. Who built you? Are you a storm golem? Uh, Fuck, a lot of questions. Yeah, Johan, you realize as you guys are stepping through the threshold, the structure is scanning you. It is has it it's not only hearing what you're saying, it is completely aware of everything you're doing within the structure. Okay, uh let's be careful. No, oh, oh wow. That sounds weird coming from me. <laughs> oh, no, 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 forget it. I, I feel filthy. Like, I, by the way, Johan says that. Keldam is fucking like, like, are you like a cat that just sense danger? He's like on edge right now. Like, the only person I've been with that never said that. I'm like, what the fuck's happening right now? <laughs> what would you. <laughs> As I said, I'm Johan Blackstone. I'm here for knowledge and my tower. There is knowledge here, like arcane knowledge. Yes, I possess a great deal of knowledge. Uh, uh, Is your uh, tower the triangular tower that you have described? Yeah, but I, I, I can stay for the knowledge here if you want the company. Siege, uh, have you reacted in any way to the question of are you a storm golem? Uh, I'm looking for. I, I'm, I'm thinking of a, of an answer. Sure. Because I, I, I'm. I, in a way, am I? In a way, uh, I, in in a way, I am. I think. I'm. I'm a warforged. A warforged. Yes. Fort for war. Hmm. Uh, Mara, uh, you push open the the door to the kitchen. T. Uh, I step through. Yeah. Uh, it's a small kitchen. Uh, there's some cupboards. You see, they they have some, like. A couple of stacks of what seems to be very hard, flat bread. It's very neat. Um, there's a there's like a small uh, oven to cook. Uh, there's a small table. Like, it, it would be a, a bit cramped if, for all of you to eat here. And luckily, Siege doesn't eat, so he doesn't have to take a place at the table. But if two of your party weren't smaller than humans, it, it, it would be cramped sitting around the, the table here. So I, so I scream through the hallway, I found the kitchen! And I start like humbling a, a song, as he singing a, a song, and I start, you know, uh, preparing <laughs> the food. I mean, turning on, uh, putting on the fire and stuff like that. Sure. The, the oven responds uh, quickly and like the pots are and pans are where you expect them to be like it's it's quite easy for you to, to cook uh, you don't hear like at no point does Sam comment on what you're doing inside the kitchen I was going to uh, take a step mm -hmm. and make the realization that he sa Sam said a storm golem a golem, yeah. I understand. Warforge, similar. Storm. Sam, you can see my core? Yes. There is much static uh, inside. It makes perception difficult. Would you like me to do a deeper scan? Yes. Hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> Did you guys know that you don't not the, see him. he changes the color of his? <laughs> yeah, yes, his I did notice. It's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> you hear the the voice uh, stop at these colors. They are the the walls start changing color. Like mostly when it speaks, it's this blue color. During the deep scan, it changed. Oh my! An official seal. 
I was unaware you belonged to the Society of Imperial Artificers. Is this an official inspection? I apologize if I have spoiled the surprise. Oh my god. That, 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 that. Imperial what? Sorry, Imperial what? Artificers. Imperial what? Imperial Artificers. Imperial Artificers. Oh. Are we there? No. <laughs> no. Because no. we're all there. Can I ask some, Sam? Sam, when were you made? Hmm. I became aware two months ago. How? Uh, what? In, in, in game oh, time, fuck. how much time has passed since since I woke up? Since it was uh, woke up from. When Johan woke, woke you up? Yeah. It's, it's been about, about six three, months. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so. While you guys are kind of blown away by that, uh, Gufran, do you want to do anything in particular? Mm. Not really, I just go around and in this case, um, I'd like to look at the, what, what, when, what, uh, door did, um, Mara went, uh, go through? South. She went through the south? south? Yeah. Okay. Uh, do we have any idea about the one in the in the uh, east? Uh, it's wider, uh, still made out of iron. Um, what's your passive perception? My passive perception is twelve. Twelve. Uh, you don't notice anything in particular when you uh, when as you're coming up to it, but uh, as you get close, uh, Sam comes on and. Uh, Hold on, let me... I do not think you want to open that door. The greenhouse has not been properly maintained. Okay. But this is one of the places you wanted us to... to clean, isn't it? Are you experienced gardeners? Not really. I am. Technically. What? I, mean, I, I turn around, like, what? I mean, I I was born in the woods. I know how to chop trees and shit. <laughs> I'm looking oh to the God. artisan tools. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I mean, oh. It's not that hard. You just know where to chop. Um, <laughs> but I I I say like let's 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 gather where Mara is. I'm just I'm getting the weird vibe here. Okay. And I know she will cook before she do, does anything else. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay. Hold on, hold Let's on. Kill, kill them. Kill them. Yep. What do I respond? Is to official what? or not? I mean, you are officially you. So yeah. let's say with let's stick with a yes. Sam, yes. Excellent. In case your companion requires some more ingredients, I can prepare refreshments. Do that. Fuck. <laughs> so, Mara, as you're like working in the kitchen, uh, you notice the pile of flat bread. Like, as you're turning around, you look back, and now there is freshly baked bread. Uh, <gasps> you, the smell uh, comes by. Uh, there are jugs of cold water. You can see condensation is beginning to trickle down. So the cupboards have been refreshed and the, the contents changed. Johan, I know you don't want any part of this. <laughs> I don't, I know you don't need to eat. Just, I, let's, you said, be careful. But Mara, one thing you do notice, the cupboard is high up. Like, you would have to, like, scoot over a chair to get up to this whole area has been built for human and elven statures. Like you said, we gotta be careful. I'm not saying be careful. I'm just saying don't, don't split the party. So I, I did. I sorry. Go ahead, Johan. I. I... Uh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. 
since I'm in the kitchen, uh, do I did I hear everything they talked with Sam in the hallway? Or I uh, yeah, it's the doors are I mean, open. It's not no, too far. My 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 question goes like this: the voice of Sam is like everywhere. Yeah. Not where you are in the kitchen. To you, it sounds like it's coming from the door behind you. Okay. Good yeah. point. So a tear rose from my eye, a happy tear. Yeah. <laughs> it's been so long since I don't eat a nice food. <laughs> so I try the bread. Uh, is it good? The bread? Uh, it's there's there's a something that's missing. It's warm. It's filling, but it doesn't have the the home cooked meal. It doesn't have sort of the, the in the, something that feeds your soul, not just your body, of freshly baked bread. Uh, and you do hear sort of a voice coming from the hallway uh, that goes, "I cannot taste the food, so I am afraid my cooking is rather bland. I assure you, it is very nutritious." Oh God, the melodrama! Okay, I, I will stick with the party. <laughs> Jeez. So I say thank you, Sam. It's really nice. Um, uh, I go towards. <laughs> I wait for um, for Johan to come into the door to the kitchen, and I say, "You know that I can sense those that are undead." Yes. Yeah. So if you're not undead, and you're not a machine, you have to eat. You cannot deceive me. Maybe you don't like it, but you have to. No, no. I, I, mean, I, 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 I step I, I, like I, from behind um, the, the wolf. girlfriend. I say, "Yeah." yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I point. I, I literally point my my like hand. I was like, "Remember, he found the iron stone, so he doesn't have to eat." Oh, okay. Yeah. That's so boring. You said boring. I hear efficient. <laughs> yeah, probably. So, uh, Mara, as you were sort of moving around to get up to the to get the bread, uh, you hear Sam coming again from outside the kitchen say, "I apologize for the lack of accessibility. The facility was constructed to the researcher's specifications." Once I am able to alter the layout, I will make sure to create a more welcoming atmosphere. You can alter oh. yourself? The fuck? I am unable to do so. Oh, okay. All right. What do you need to alter yourself? Like your conscience? Knowledge. Oh. I, I can help with that. If you grant me the access. To the knowledge of the tower. <laughs> Make a persuasion check with advantage. Make a deal with the devil. ¿Qué puede pasar de darle conciencia a una AI <laughs> en una torre? Yeah, sure. That's half it? Oh, fuck. Thank you, advantage. Because that was a natural one. <laughs> But, a persuasion. Oh, thanks. Uh, lucky stone. 18. 17 plus 1. Okay. Hmm. I do require assistance on occasion. After your meal, I will open the door to the library. You After it, Mara. your meal. <sighs> the price I have to pay. <laughs> all right, all right. Sam, I will eat. Six will we'll go to to kill them. Yeah. Question. Yep. Eating hearts. <laughs> no. No. Is it so? So remember, we you you, we've talked about this before. Remember, like sometimes people eat because they are hungry, and sometimes people eat because they want to be with someone else like there's not like there's a lot of reasons why you eat mm -hmm. like 
Like there's people like Johan that eat because they need to, but now he doesn't need to because of the stone. There is people like me that like don't really care about food. Like I eat because I need to, but eh. And there is people like Mara and Gufran that fucking love eating because they love the what it feels in the mouth and in the tummy. <laughs> Um, and I'm like, I'm touching my tummy while I say that, like my, my, my gut when I say that, I was like, like, you know, when you do something very good and you like the feeling you have, like killing people, but for example, <laughs> when, when someone's evil, but like, like, like that, but in your mouth, <laughs> you're, no, tread no, carefully, no. tread <laughs> carefully. That's you know, you know, what? No, yeah. no. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm now, trying. Man. Now you have a seat as a beast barbarian, <laughs> growing teeth and fucking biting people. Well, uh, to the context to the to the people, the the, the look of the siege is like an an an, an orc uh, made of metal. So when you say that uh, kill people with their um, no, with the mouth, oh, it's it's. Yeah. Hey, what I said was <laughs> it's the Repeat feeling again. you get, okay. not the actual killing. No, the, the feeling, but with the head. So I start to open and closing my mouth, and the teeth, you know, they are jagged like the uh, old ones, so it was. Oh, but yeah, no. Siege, 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 just don't imitate that. You... It's scary, man. And I'll, <laughs> and I'll turn back to Sam and say, Sam, uh, can you open the other doors in the hallway so we can just know what's around us? Those are the staff quarters. I will open the doors, but please do not disturb them. No problem, Sam. I I'm looking at Barra. Like, come on, we have to eat. <laughs> so, my stuff, right? uh, do, well, do you know you what, see? guys? You go mm -hmm. and, and look around. Sam, this is going to take some time. So, because you can't rush something that's going to be amazing. So, the guys are going to look around and I'm going to stay here a, a while in the kitchen making a really nice food. Understood. Thank you for the clarification, Mara. You're welcome. Actually, how, did you introduce yourself as Mara or as Maravilla? Maravilla. Maravilla. Yeah, so Sam calls you Maravilla. Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, the, the doors uh, to the other rooms open. Uh, they're all very similar. They have a small bed, a nightstand. Uh, and there is a rack uh, of clothing. From from the doors, you can see there's not, there aren't like bookcases with uh, with books or uh, writing desks with with uh, much paper. The is the it... racks of clothing are mostly robes. Yeah. The, the, do the robes have any like insignias or any like any ident identifying marks? Uh, you look among them. There's no clear sign of identification. There's they come in a few different colors and like dark green. There's sort of a, a maroon color. There's a a brown. Uh, they're all very clean. You notice uh, in the room that you're searching for, there is something in in the pocket of the rope. Uh, it feels like there's some coins uh, in the pocket of that rope. Oh, I'll I'll. Uh, not with any st intention of stealing right now, but just like I want to know what kind of coins they are. Sure. Uh, so you take it out. There's eight gold uh, pieces and fifteen silver pieces. These are you recognize they're minted hundreds of years ago. Uh, these are coins minted by the the Narathi Empire. They're still in circulation. Uh, often they're more trusted than newer coins because the standards were more uh, exacting and so uh, 
with that, I'll ask Sam. Uh, Sam, what do you know about the Narathian Empire? It is the current system of laws that governs the area. Okay. Okay. So, even though I am a history buff, I'll shout at Johan and I'll say, Johan. What? Sam thinks the current government structure is the Nathar Natharian Empire, which I believe ha is was long ago. Do you know anything about it? Do I know anything about it? Yeah, I'm, it was the I'm the latest. If he needs to roll for anything. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't even need to roll. It's the Nentir Vale where you guys have been sort of spending your time was the very outskirts of the Narathi Empire. Uh, the empire itself fell between, depending on what you count as the fall of the empire, whether that is uh, the loss of the 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 emperor, uh, he died 400 years ago in some, the, some of the first great battles against many of the demonic forces that uh, overran the, the borders, or if you count when finally the capital city was overtaken, which was about 200, 250 years ago. But the Narathi Empire as a whole has been lost for centuries. The, that, yeah, I, that was the I, empire that was I, I was fighting for then. Yes. I, you were part of the, the forces that were fighting demonic-led armies mm -hmm. far from the, the empire's capital. Mm -hmm. I what about this me? information? Mm -hmm. Sorry, what? Gufren? Daniel, what about me? What about Gufren? Uh, interesting. So <laughs> you you know um, that the Narathi Empire was not only well known for uh, codifying the series of laws based on a much older Arcosian system from the Dragonborn Empire. It also led to a whole new system of philosophy of acknowledging the existence of gods, but not seeking um, worth from them, finding worth in self-sufficiency, in personal skill and responsibility, and the the Imperial Society of Artificers, it's not something that you've heard of, but it does sound like the kind of thing that would be valued in Narathi society. Okay. So, here's the hypothesis. This tower is like maybe reactivating after a long time because clearly the, the empire fall a long time ago. Yes. So if he, oh, it, I don't know what pronoun you prefer, Sam. If Sam thinks that the Narathi blah, 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 is the current uh, govern system here? Well, that or we travel back in time, and that war that is worse. So uh, maybe not that. Hopefully not that. Why not? No. It could mean that I can see my brothers. Uh, yeah, I know, but remember all the brothers that Mara had that we vowed to get out of the jail. Yeah, and you can you can wait all these years so you can get backed on the current timeline, but I'm I'm not I, I can't. I'm middle okay. aged like right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So please don't take that away from me. Your body is not middle-aged. Well, that's because I, I drink tea all day. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. 
green tea? <laughs> you, you, you keep cooking. I, I need that library. <laughs> the door to the library is open. Uh, wh wait, what? That, that was easy. So, do we, do we Lara explained Mara she needs time to finish cooking. Ah. You're welcome. Ah. Whatever, whatever. So let's go. Let's explore this this thing. And I leave the kitchen in. Uh, I, I run. I I literally run behind him because I'm afraid he's gonna fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> open the door. I'm confused. Any yeah. any door. I don't care. Dude. Just open. Move move. That's left. the the door to move the library. Uh, open. Sijik is conflicted. Uh, Mara, do you want any help or do I go with Kilda and Johan? Go ahead, so, Sij. Go go with um, Kilda and Johan. Okay. So, Johan, Kilda, as you guys uh, come in, you see a fairly large room. Uh, there's large stone shelves coming out from the walls. And they're mostly empty. There's chaos in this room. There are books, tomes, scattered all over. They're lying on the tables. They're on the floor. They're over the chairs. The few that are still on the shelves are either open and completely sort of feathered out or collapsed onto the side. Uh, and this chaos is uh, replicated all over the floor along the shelves. Except on the far wall, there is a small uh, shelf that's only one story high that has all its books are still uh, packed and sort of lined up uh, nicely on it. Could I go investigate first? Sure. Uh, go ahead no, and make no, a. I was I was literally talking to Johan. Like I was like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> you, you see Johan like picking a book from the floor and like checking it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go Guf ahead. Gufran, uh, are you staying with Mara or are you moving onto the hallway? I, I think I think I move onto the hallway and try to follow the guys. I I wanted to stay with Mara, but the mention about Narathi um, brought me picked my attention. <laughs> so, uh, Kelda, what are you investigating? Um, so, I, I, I basically, I have two questions, and maybe mm -hmm. it's two, two big questions, and I, I'm good if I can do both. But I want to know if there's a pattern to the chaos, and I, and I want to know the what's up with this, like, the the bookshelf at the end, like I the can, pack. Sure, I can take the pattern. And you can take the the shelf Good if me. you want. Yep. So, Johan, go ahead and make an investigation check. Uh, Keldev, so you step your way across. Are you being sort of trying careful to avoid the books? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you Absolutely. sure? You like step I'm, over? I'm gonna take guidance on myself. Sure. It is immediately <laughs> evident to both of you, as soon as you pay some attention to sort of the books that are open. The books are blank. There's oh, no writing uh, on them. How much was it? I, I have the phone. Yeah, we can't see. Yeah, I I thought I saw a one. A twenty on the uh, natural twenty Woo! with a one. A total of <laughs> twenty thirty. I don't know. Investigation. Yeah. Twenty yeah. thirty. Probably I love that. thirty. This is thirty. Thirty? Yeah. Ah, 30. I won one by two. I I, I, I I got a twenty-eight. So it is immediate as you're uh, going around, Johan. You hold the book that you picked up uh, close to your face. You you can, you're accustomed to reading through books. This book feels like a book that's been written. It's um, the the spine of it has been creased and opened several times. You see there's some corners that have been sort of folded in uh, on occasion, either deliberately as a bookmark or just with use. Uh, you run your fingers along the page 
there's ridges left by a pen that was writing. And you flip through, and roughly every, like, 40, 50 pages, you see there is a faint trace of ink still left sort of embedded in the paper, but not enough to even make a full letter, let alone anything else. And you glance at the books on the shelves. They're all the same. Like, you can see these are clearly books that were read and reread, uh, older books, some of them newer, bound in leather, bound in uh, wood, all having been drained of ink. And it becomes clear to you that this was done by magical means and by a, the force of whatever drained it, pulled them from the bookcases and scattered them all over. Probably when this was happening, this was probably a very impressive sight with books spinning and moving around through the air as ink was sort of drained away from them. Mm -hmm. And you're also pretty sure that Sam is the one that did this. Like, And there is no writing whatsoever on, on the pages. Correct. Okay. Uh, um. Yeah. Keldav, uh, you're picking your way along. You notice the same. The... Um, books have been drained you see like even the spines you can see that there was some markings on the leather uh things that were sort of burnt onto the wood that has also been leached uh out and there's just pattern of some sort of damage or or striation uh in the material you get to the one bookcase that is uh still packed with books and you begin looking over it uh carefully the books in this uh, case tend to be uh, slimmer than the most of the larger tomes that are in the rest of the the shelves. You're glancing along the spines, and first you think, "Oh, this, these aren't written in common. This is a, a different language." And you're trying, "Does it look like draconic or dwarven?" No, it's. And then you start trying to just look for patterns, look for letters that repeat. There isn't a pattern. They, these, the spines of these books are not written in any language. They're squiggles. They're, they're something that looks like a language. Even if, like, someone less observant than you, who was just, would completely see us as, oh, it's, th those are books. And if paying a bit more attention, they think, oh, yeah, I guess they're, I don't know, must be elven or something. But to you, this is clear. No, these, these are not books. Uh, writ the the spine is not the titles aren't in in a written language. There is one book that you notice that does not have any writing uh, on the spine. Let me. So. There's actually there's more than one. There's uh, about a handful of them, um, of books with no writing on the spine. Oh, there's some oh. that are like on the lowest shelves uh, where that were within your reach. There's one that's about midway and then there's another two that are higher up that you would have to climb up on sort of the stone shelves next to it to try and reach. That, that's not a problem. I have magical glo gloves for that. Um, yeah. But <laughs> um, I'll, I'll pick all the, the like I, I'm going to take them with, very carefully, but I'm going to get everything mm -hmm. that it doesn't have this squiggly lines because I'm like this is the typical like needle in a haystack situation where people that mm -hmm. just like they don't want to people don't want to find this so they have a block of shit yeah i'll get them and i'll put them on the desk ne next to me and start like getting a, all right to see what i can see inside gufran and siege what are you guys doing sort of as johan you see is sort of peering intently at the book and then sort of starts pacing as he's like taking in all the pattern of the books that are inside? Uh, I'll once again touch the symbol of Lahaba on my breastplate and say, mm -hmm. Lahaba, give me guidance. Are there any of your enemies around here? And I'll activate another divine sense. Uh, your eyes uh, shine with uh, golden light. 
no celestials, no fiends, no undead. Uh, Sam does say, is that divine energy? Yes, it is, Sam. How do you know that? It feels warm. I'm a servant of Lahaba. Have you heard of that, the imperishable flame? Of course. And as uh, Sam says, of course, uh, Kelda, you uh, reach to one of the open books. Uh, roll a d10 for me. One of the books that doesn't have a spine. Shit. Uh. <laughs> a one. A one. Okay. Uh, you sort of climb up onto the stone shelf. You reach your hand across, very careful not to touch any of the the ones that have squiggles on them. Your hand touches the spine of the book that has no no writing, and you try and pull it, and it doesn't come out. You're like, you brace yourself against the stone shelf, and you pull again, and it doesn't come out. You go like, There's... strange, and you try and go for a different book, and your hand is stuck to the book. And I will now roll for initiative for the giant mimic that is the bookcase. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes! Oh my god! <laughs> so the rest of you, thank you see uh, thank you very that much. the thin books sort of twist and move and form a giant jaw. <laughs> the two of the books light up with yellow eyes and twist. As you see, the entire uh, bookcase shifts to form a large uh, face that looks quite angry. I'll, can I shout something before I roll initiative? It's, it's not, it's not sure. for my, te my team. I'll shout, Sam, what the fuck? You could have told me. <laughs> we'll see what yeah. Sam does when it's their turn. Uh, oh, fuck me. So, Johan, uh, it's your turn. As you see this, like, mimic appear with Kildav stuck to it. What do you do? That's like Johan... a thesis question. What would Johan do? Yeah. Um, Johan seeing Kildav being Munched on by the mimic, and he's going to just drop the book and rush uh, through the room. Sure. Oh, okay. How much movement do you have? Because these tables are difficult terrain. Ah, okay. Uh, I have thirty because I'm yeah. in guardian mode. Let's see. I think if you go around. Can I go around the other from, way? From, the other way around. Yeah, 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 yeah. From here, maybe. Yeah, here. That's thirty. Yeah. You run. <laughs> You're. I'm uh, gonna smash my gauntlets. Armor. Yeah. I'm gonna smash my gauntlets together and start punching. The the. Go mimic. ahead and make your attacks. As this face, sort of, you can see Keldav's hand is now caught in a crease on the forehead. Okay, uh, here we go. That's uh, 15 plus 8, uh, 23 to hit. That hits. And it's, it's pretty much a big wall with a face on it. Yeah, it hits. Yeah, D8. Uh, that's uh, 3 plus 5, so 8 thunder damage. Your fist cracks uh, into one of the jagged book teeth that it has, and it. Uh, reels back from the burst of thunder. Does it do anything? No, because it's no longer in its object form. Okay, so your fist cracks into it, and you see some bits of wood uh, flake off uh, down to the ground. So the gauntlet's gonna recoil, and I'm gonna wind up again. Like, this is getting old! And smash it again. Ooh, 18 plus 8. Yeah, that, that yes. hits. And that's a 5 plus 5, so 10. Thunder 10 damage. points of damage. Yeah, yeah. 
And that... you rear back, <laughs> slam your your fist uh, into uh, the underjaw, and you see as the book sort of twists and and shift, and the mouth goes from a hungry smile to a snarl. And that's it for me. Yeah, uh, Kelda, uh, it's your turn. Your hand is stuck to it, and you're ho holding on to the stone shelf uh, next to it. Tech like so, in game terms, am I grappled or am I like? You are grappled. Okay. Um. Yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna attack with my free hand, with uh, using my rapier. Sure. Um. So blade, the blade of Iron Goth. I'm gonna use the. Uh, to be known as the blade of Keldo. Sure. <laughs> so you let your hand go from the shelf and are just being held by the whatever adhesive covering is on the surface of the of the mimic, and as you're like almost standing on the on the wall. I'm you, doing that actually. I was going to say hand. that. Like, I'm gonna I'm gonna let go of the, of, of the of my the hand that's not stuck, and I'm gonna yeah. start like walking down up the wall. And attacking while I'm doing that. Excellent. Uh, so, shit, not a good roll. Uh, so, so, oh, 15. 15 does hit. Like, oh, it is fairly big, and you manage to, like, stab. Uh, and I think you get sneak attack because Johan is there yep. right next so to you. So, I had 1d8 plus 3d6. Oh, oh. Okay. oh no. Get that later. <laughs> That guy died. Uh, yeah. So it's oh fuck fourteen. Fourteen damage. Yep. Yeah. Fourteen damage. Um, and I'll. Uh, yeah, I can't use my bonus action to dis to, to disengage if I'm grappled, right? No. Hmm. I mean, I, it, technically you could, but then you still can't move. What? Yeah, it makes. I mean, you could <laughs> disengage, but then you can't move because you're because grappled. grappled. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your yeah, movement so, is still zero. So I'll instead of doing that, I'm. Uh, can I? One second. I am. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, I'm good at it. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my bonus action. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. Uh, can I? No, I can't attack. I can't use my second attack because my no. hand is grappled. So no, yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm gonna like. Basically, I'm where I hit. I am trying to hang on. I'm saying and telling everyone like, um, I'm stuck. And that's it. That's my turn. Excellent. Uh, Siege, so you saw like the bookcase turn. Johan went up, punched it twice with the release of thunder damage. Keldav just lets go of the stone shelf and starts stabbing at the the monster that is now hasn't grappled. You're at the other side of the of the library. What do you do? Yeah, I don't have enough movement. If I go right there, I'm 35. And both uh, tables are difficult to range, so I, I could go here, right? Yeah. So I'm going to move there. Oops. And... You know what? I'm going to take my storm spear mm -hmm. and launch it. Excellent. So you vault over the table, bring out your your spear of uh, elemental uh, infused uh, stone. You feel the energy surge within your core, travel up your arm into the, the stone. Mm -hmm. The particles of, of, of rock that float around it flash as it becomes a, a weapon made of lightning. Uh, you launch it, go ahead and make the attack. I think it also has to make a dexterity save, which yes. it's not great at. 
uh, as an action, the spear can throw as a ranged weapon attack with a 180 feet of range. The storm within erupts, uh, forcing everyone along the line of the throw, including yeah. the target, to make a dexterity saving throw with Siege Save DC. And my DC is 16. Somehow, the, the just luck, the mimic sees you coming, sees it lighted, sees you lighting up. Yeah. And, uh, you see the what were the wooden shelves that made it up spring up like fingers they grab a bunch of the books on the ground and they throw it up into the air and your lightning surges through burns a bunch of the books pages go flying everywhere they were all blank some of them seem to catch fire and burn away most of that lightning uh burns itself through the the paper but uh, it, your attack still uh, impacts the, the Mimic. Yeah. It so go ahead and roll two, the... 2d6 plus 5 was 15 in total. Whoa. Two fives. Mm -hmm. uh... So as the, the lightning surges through, it burns most of it in the, in the paper cloud that, it, that the Mimic created, but it still pierces all the way through. And Keldev, you're like standing there, stabbing away, and suddenly about a foot down from you, there's a flash of light and the stone spear is embedded deep within the mimic and you see its eyes go wide as it yells in pain and you hear and you realize, you know, <laughs> it's it's outmatched. You guys are, are dealing with it quite effectively. It was as an action, right? Yeah, I don't have the action. Yeah, it, it's action. your whole action. Yeah. Yeah. So as a bonus action you can call it back. I'm going to do that. I I think. Yeah. Yes, I, and I, then I can do that. There's a a flash of lightning again as the the spear disappears and reappears in your hand. And I will say careful kill that knowledge hurts. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Mara, you are cooking things uh, in the kitchen. Uh, gently folding the umitas, tying the bows on them, <laughs> and you start hearing like noises and f some yelling going like far away. Come on. Do you do anything? <laughs> I I say, Sam, what's going on? The book holder appears to be attacking your your allies. They seem to be handling it well. <laughs> Hmm. I look the meters. <laughs> <laughs> I say, would you let me know if if something goes wrong? Of course. Okay, so I continue. <laughs> the trust in this fucking AI is insane. <laughs> hey, you trust Go me. Friend. Okay, I uh get out the sunblade from my um actually from, from my belt i think and i turn it on and i run uh towards um i, I think i have enough movement i run towards pass through <laughs> johan and i get mm -hmm. to the to the thing and i say come on if you're a good genie let my friend go otherwise you're a shaitan and i will have to kill you and i Get it one strike. So let's yeah. see if it listens to me. You hear it goes. <laughs> okay, you sound like a shaitan, so I'll have to strike you. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, that's uh, so that's not good. Remember that's uh, you have a plus two. Because we're flying. Okay, that's uh, seventeen to hit. That hits. Cool. So it's a bookcase. I mean, okay, cool. it moves a little bit, <laughs> like it has fingers, yeah, and a mouth, but like it, it doesn't really dodge. Cool. That's nine points of damage. Sure. Nine, the, nine the points of seers um, along its surface, radiant. Yeah, radiant damage. Yeah, sure. Um, is it letting Keldav go? Keldav is still fully. His hand seems to be like stuck in a, in like a wrinkle in the forehead, uh, 
st hand still stuck, jabbing away at it with the rapier. Uh, as you slash, you see parts of the sort of wooden surface of it are beginning to flake off, and you see a pink um, actual flesh uh, under that that is beginning to, as your allies have, and you have heard it quite a bit, it's beginning to show its its inner uh, structure, but most of it is still fake uh, books made to look like an angry face. Okay, so I, I start hitting it and I say, this is why people don't trust books! <laughs> 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 Excellent. Oh, natural one. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> you start at that point. You're like trying to get uh, <laughs> to see. You start sort of like hitting with the hilt of your sunblade, so you don't accidentally like burn uh, Kildav's hand off, and it's just sort of like bouncing off the hard uh, surface of the of the bookcase, and you can hear it snarling going. <laughs> And okay. now, finally, it is the Mimic's turn. Uh, what's the reach on it? So, it you see as it starts to wobble and it actually moves forward, it hits the table uh, and sort of knocks it uh, over. Siege, it's I need you to do a strength saving throw, but oh. I fully I remember. I imagine. I, I imagine the, the, the. <laughs> The, from the movie La Bella y yeah. la Bestia de Wild Yes, yeah, very, yeah. very much. Pretty, yeah. <laughs> you see, the, the beast the right the fingers sort of scrabble on the ground, and it's basically like pushing itself off with its hands as it wobbles forward. I don't. What was your I, save? I'm not raging, right? You're not saving. No. So um, it's a four plus eight, twelve. Twelve is just what you need. As no. the, the table is sort of impacted comes right at you and you sort of put up the your hand and catch the edge of it as it was coming straight at you you take no damage and now you're holding a long wooden table in front of you uh so can, with that I... that's going to provide you cover so it's not going to attack you it sort of turns slightly uh and you see from its surface two books sort of come right at you like spines coming towards you and then they flap open to create like a big, like rectangular surface to, mm -hmm. to impact uh, Johan and, and Gufran. So one attack at each of you. Daniel, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I have a question. Do I mm -hmm. move back? Like, do I move south? Yeah, you are. You <laughs> move I, south. I, you are... I need it. I need it to, <laughs> I I need to know that. So your your feet actually like lose contact with the the stone shelf and you are now hanging from your rapier and your hand still stuck, stuck in its forehead. So, the attack against Gufran. Ooh! That was a 19 plus 5. That's 24. Eight. Yeah. Against uh, who? Gufran. Against Gufran. Against me. Yeah. Okay. So, Gufran, you take 6 points of bludgeoning damage as Hi. this, like, open book slams into your face. And then it pulls back a bit, and it pulls your skin with it, and you realize this book is now stuck to your face and part of your armor, and like it has you grappled by the by the this now tentacle. Uh, the rest of you see sort of a long thin like the the pages of the book had been like spread out uh, and lead all the way back to the to the bookcase. Sort of a long. I would like thin to read. Book. I would like to read. <laughs> <laughs> Johan. There's a moment as you see that, and you see an open, like, book cover, both covers coming straight towards you. Much worse. That's a four plus five, nine. So I'm, I'm gonna ask you what the, the book. Yeah. <laughs> you're quite familiar with books. Bunk. And you, you see as it tries to sort of... <laughs> the book tries to close on your head, and it just misses, and, like, scrabbles at the air, closes back up, and retreats into the mimic. I'm sorry, um, I'm sorry, but I think no one is that, like, in tune with books. Mm. Like, Johan. the first time that books actually attack Johan, I think. Yeah. What the fuck this session, Daniel? <laughs> I Listen. love it! 
It's a great adventure. I read it and was like, ooh, that yeah. would be perfect. Yeah, yeah. it's a perfect uh, adventure, man. Keldav, as you're sort of dangling, uh, your your feet are sort of going past the eyes, and it sort of and tries to open its mouth to grab at you and bite you. Uh, because you are grappled by it, it has advantage. Yep. Mm, which is probably not going to be... No. 12 plus 5, 17, which I believe is just nope. under your AC. Yep. Thanks to... You feel as these, like, wooden teeth are grabbing at, at your boots, and they scrabble off the thick uh, Drake armor, Drake scale armor uh, that Johan created for you, and only because of that material you're able to escape the adhesive of the teeth, and you manage to, like, get your legs up further, uh, now, like, standing in between the two eyes of the Mimic, as it tries to, like, center its eyes and look at you as you're now, like, just hanging in the middle of its forehead. Uh, that's the Mimic's turn. Uh, Johan, it's your turn. As you see, like, Gufran is, has a big book that is holding, and Keldav is sort of, like, trying to stay in its blind spot in the middle of the forehead. I am flanking with Kilda. Uh, technically. Yeah, technically. Yeah, but uh, we don't use the advantage rule. No, no it's plus, plus two. two. Okay, okay, okay. So from here we go. I'm gonna uh, prepare my gauntlet. It's and it's like mm, I need to find a, 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 a better option than this. And I'm gonna attack. Ooh, that's ten plus eight plus two. So 20? Yeah, that definitely hits. Yeah. Yeah. And so... Uh, uh. Question. The spark staff is like on your back or in one of the multiple, like the bag of holding or the... No, no. I, I have it on me. Okay. I have it on me. Maybe in my bag or I have it in, in like sure. one hand. I don't know. Uh, so that's eight points of force damage. Force damage. And you no, come thunder, in with damage. An uppercut and thunder. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna like, strike and on the side, and then the plates I'm gonna smash together and create this boom against it. So here's the second. I'm gonna wind up my punch, and that's a uh, 16 plus eight. So I think that that it's, hits. Yes. And that's a uh, seven plus five. Uh, Twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Johan, how do you want to destroy this mimic? <laughs> like after I prepare my second punch, the gauntlet is gonna recoil. It's like just match it, and the thunder is gonna do the rest. Like I don't know. Yeah. Bookshelf everywhere. You, you smash into the lower jaw. <laughs> uh, cover, fake book covers go flying everywhere, leaving uh, sort of just the the fleshy pink. And you come in under it and hit directly inside the cavity of the mouth. Keldav, you're sort of hanging. You see the eyes sort of bulge as there's a detonation of thunder inside the mimic. You are thrown backwards and land on the stone bookshelf uh, in front of the mimic. And the the entire face just slides off, re revealing a pale mass of pink flesh that begins sort of jiggling. And just collapsing into the ground, staining what were once perhaps lovely books and are now just no! blank paper. <laughs> and so. that's the end of the bookcase mimic. Uh, that was fun. Yeah. That, that was not fun. So. I came here for knowledge. What the fuck? The book holder had never reacted that way before. What, is this the first time a living creature has entered this place? No. Ilumar used the library extensively. Who is Ilumar? Ilumar is the lead researcher of the Structure for Assisted Magic. So are you the one that drained all the ink? 
Mm-hmm. Yes. I was able to develop a spell to obtain all the knowledge from the books and retain it myself. Wait, what? What the fuck? You said that, uh, uh, and now how, how, how can I access this knowledge? Why do you do I that? I am the structure for assisted magic. So you need to talk to Sam. <clears throat> Uh, Keldav, as you're sort of picking yourself up, uh, you see that the, as you were th- thrown, thrown back, you were not the only thing thrown back. Mm-hmm. One of the books that had the spine uncovered, like, shot out, hit you in the stomach, and also pushed you back. So, like, you get up on the shelf, and it's just, like, there in, in your lap. I'll, I'll pick it up and look at it, like, see if it's sure. an actual book. It, it is an actual book. It's a plain uh, leather journal. Uh, you open it up. It's immediately filled with a bunch of formulas. Uh, you see diagrams. Uh, you see there is like a small sketch for part of the structure. You see like the hallway, the library, the staff quarters aren't like filled in. And then there's like a circle area on the other side of the door that Sam has totally leads to the greenhouse, and then there's like some notes scribbled on the back. Uh, Gufren, Siege, what uh, do you guys do? Daniel, can you repeat who was Ilumar? Ilumar was the lead research is the lead researcher of the structure for assisted magic. Okay, it's too much to write. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I'll, I'll put it in roll 20. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Oh, well. Thank um, you. I think uh, I'm going to walk to Gelda. Are you alright? <laughs> Yeah, fine. And, and you're all at, and, and I'm I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at the journal. Like, yeah, I'm fine. What, what did you find? I think this is the. Can I? Can I? Uh, can Keldov actually find an um a name or anything like that? Yeah, you're you're looking around. You see, it seems to have been. Whoever wrote this did not have a very organized mind. You see it several times. There's a date written, and then there's nothing, and then that date is crossed out, and another date is written, and there's yeah. like maybe a sketch of something, and then there's a few words, there's a bunch of things that look like the runes that have been scrawled along the walls. As you're leafing through it, you do find some pages that have um... You're describing m- my journal. Like... <laughs> yeah. Uh, you do find one page uh, that has some writing, I think you guys should be seeing it now. Yeah. Yep. I can see. So it says our grant mandates that Sam must be able to not only learn and retain information, but respond to it as well. Etera answers its questions patiently, although it keeps bringing her copper wires whenever she attempts to cast mending. Only off by one letter, but progress is slow. I'll I'll ask it's I'll ask Sam, who's Etera? Etera is a researcher in the structure for assisted magic. Uh, so she, does the... so he, 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 or she was under the the leadership of Ilunar, right? Yes. He or she? Yes. Okay. Uh, do you keep looking through it, Keldev? Do you pass it yeah, over yeah, to yeah, yeah. Johan? No, 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 no. All right, you keep going. Uh, there's more sketches. You see, there's drawings of um, like suits of armor, and there's scrawling written. And you see, there's like sections that have been like scrabbled out, uh, crossed over, and then a section of the of the arcane formula <coughs> is copied over in the next page, and like. Some things have been circled and like 
remark that like this is the critical uh, animating function uh, and just a, a lot of scribbles and then uh, about 40 pages later in the in the journal you find uh, another section that has been like written as a log uh, and it's Sam has learned to anticipate more than just our spell casting needs it reminds me to go to bed at a normal hour whatever that is and wakes me up precisely eight hours later. I can only hope Amari will see the usefulness in this. Amari was the... Yeah, the owner. Mm -hmm. um, can, can, by the way, uh, Daniel, can mm -hmm. I, um, can Kelda walk towards the kitchen while he's reading this? Sure. Yeah. Uh, Johan, Gufran, Siege, what do you guys do? Mm. Go ahead, you first. I was waiting for you. <laughs> I'll never read a book again! Never! <laughs> That's implying that you read a book before. Excellent point, I've never read a book. You know me very well. You didn't? And, and that concerns me. I haven't. Never in my life. I, I was raised by goblins, okay? They believe that if you read something, it steals your soul. What the fuck? Uh, uh, I'm not there. <laughs> uh, stop, stop. That, that's, that, that's, the, that's the truth. You were raised by goblins. Yes. Inside check. <laughs> I mean uh, I'll leave it up to Elena like, if you want to allow an insight check yeah yeah sure if, sure. To, sure if you want to set a DC or make a roll no no just just roll <laughs> okay. okay 15 plus plus 2 Seven. that's true I'm saying the truth that's the truth okay Put a pin of that. <laughs> we are going to talk okay. about that later. <laughs> I, I have some question that you will need to answer. Okay, no problem. S uh, Sam. Sam, was it? Yes, Johan. Uh, so, you absorb all the knowledge on this uh, room. Where is it? Where I can get to you? I you mean, are in the structure for assisted magic. Yeah, but in some place you have to have your your core. Like, where is the rune? Rune room? Yeah. Room room. <laughs> or... Room room. What is core? Every room in the structure for assisted magic. And, and what kind of uh, power source are you using? Arcane. Oh. Mm. Interesting. Can I see it? Or are you just enchanted all the research? It is infused into every rune along the walls of the structure. Mm. Interesting. Maybe I can do something similar for the tower. So practical. Sabs. So get... Mm? Go, go, go. Kelda, you've been like leafing through the journal as you make your way uh, to the kitchen. Uh, you see there are lots of diagrams now showing connecting um, arrays of runes. Uh, and you see there's sort of a, a concept of like reaching critical mass, like repeating uh, patterns that eventually become self-sustaining. And you gather that they required more literally more surface area than they had in the initial design so there's like a, a sketch that they need more surface uh, and then like further on you find uh, one last note that is uh, written in common uh, that is near the end of the, the pages that are written in the journal you lost Exor this morning, this evening. The greenhouse's temperatures were just a hair chillier than expected 
which caused a rather inflammatory reaction in the workshop. Must revisit the climate control feature. Sam? Who is Exor? Yes, Keldav. Exor is a researcher in the structure for assisted magic. When did he die? Did you ask when or when? Where? When? Three weeks ago. Okay, and this is uh, me asking you, uh, Daniel. Mm -hmm. um, so the dates that are written here are definitely uh, Nanther Empire time. Uh, there's no year uh, written on them. They're the equivalent of month and uh, day. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and, I mean, they follow the, the pattern, the the numbering of the months and, and the days. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll look at Mara and ask, how long until you finish the, those Umidas? You're almost, you're almost finished, Mara. Almost ready. Almost. Mm -hmm. Okay. You didn't miss much. It wasn't a big fight. And I'll... <laughs> uh, yes, I was sure you were okay. Oh, and, I'll, and I'll shout from here. Johan, I've got a book. <laughs> Wait. Siege. Yes. Gufran, you are big That's... and useless. So, do you want to be useful? <laughs> when I change that? I'm, a, I'm useless? Yeah, but we can change that. Why when are we useful? Are Let's do this. <clears throat> so, I need to grab a bookshelf and just move it. I, I need to see the pattern on, on the wall. You want us to move the bookshelf? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Sure. Yeah. I'll help you. Okay, so I'll grant you advantage, Siege. Thank you. Because you have a much greater strength than I have. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Make a strength check with advantage, Siege. So how much is my strength? Strength check? Yeah. With advantage. So it's a 3 and a 14, so 19. Your heavy metal hands glam onto the edge of the stone shelf that was next to the mimic, and you start using your strength to lever. It starts the stone starts to shift, and you reveal along the all the walls of the library there are indeed the same repeating runes that were uh, along the corridor. Uh, Johan, now that you are looking at them more closely. You spot things that remind you of Mage Hand, just the, the ability to exert small amounts of force. Uh, there's divination things that are things like comprehend languages, yeah. uh, probably abilities to, to sense uh, invisibility, uh, see ethereal into the ethereal plane. Uh, there's some illusionary capabilities which you think might be the shifting of colors, like maybe that's something that isn't a byproduct of the design. It's Sam does it because it's helpful, like it makes mm -hmm. it look nice. Uh, there's a raise for things like conj conjuration of um, unseen servants. Uh, it seems to be mostly low level spells. But there's but just a great quantity yeah. of them, and it seems like they've been they've been cast so many times that they are, have become permanent, which is it seems very strange to do with such simple spells. Like there's hmm. there's spaces where there's like an array about the size of of like a head that is just the mending cantrip, just placed there to to have available. And other things like uh, the light spell and message, like just simple magic that is just repeating so many times that. Mm, interesting. 
Okay, no. Now, back to the book. And you can get my Umitas if you want. <laughs> As a payment. Surely they are delicious. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I will not deprive you of such a delicious food. <laughs> oh, oh, please, do it. Do I have to make a roll so the Umitas are good no. or bad? You have taken enough time uh, here in the in the kitchen uh, that yeah you've been like cooking here for like almost an hour. Uh, they are perfectly shaped. They have been cooked to perfection. Uh, the bread is still sort of steaming and and warm. There's uh, I make cold a lunch, water an available. An ensalada of tomato with with cebolla. Sure. Excellent. Potato. Tomato salad, yeah, in, in a bowl for for everybody. There's and not plates. pebre. Uh, no, no pebre. <laughs> Pobre pebre. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I, by the way, I think it's important to qualify why are why we're laughing at the fact that she's making humitas. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. Yeah, that's important. Because yeah. nothing are Chilenos. Yes. <laughs> Early on in in my version of this setting, it was established as canon that halfling culture is Chilean culture and therefore shares the <laughs> classic foods and specific <laughs> details of the language. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Some wonderful. very specifics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, so I the serve the you... table. I yeah. serve the table, and I, I, I try to find a red wine. There is no uh, unless unless you brought wine. There, no. there isn't any here in the structure. Oh. So, it, there's cold water to drink. Okay. Well, we are going to the to the kitchen. I'm going to go friend and, mm -hmm. and ask him. Do you know Samsung? Uh, like a little mono. Monthong. Do I speak like that too? <laughs> Without tones? Yeah. Monotone. Monotone. <laughs> how, how do you hear yourself? <laughs> <laughs> like I'm talking. So you're right. They don't have to worry about it. Excellent. So you the the rest of you arrive uh, at the kitchen. It does smell delicious. There's just the the layer of fresh bread. There's now the 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 baked uh, corn uh, meal that is the the umita, and the the table is uh, set out. It is a bit cramped, but some of you can like you can stand and like. Hold your, your plate in your hand if you want. So, uh, where is the book? Uh, <laughs> I, I, it was a bit misleading. It's not an actual book. It's a journal, but I That's think you're going to like it because it, it, it shows the development of Sam. And yes, That's convenient. I, I was thinking of not giving it to you just to fuck around but and I will give the I'll give let, the jazz let me the let me guess you don't understand what's in the book and, I, and so, I'm not I, I, and I'm retracting the book slowly and I'm like don't worry don't worry Johan, Johan I am gonna burn this book if you keep on talking like that <laughs> is this a lie that I am saying no no I'm actually, no like don't even roll an insight this is not <laughs> No, 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 no. I, I'm telling you, is this okay. a lie that yeah. I am saying? You can read, yeah. You you can understand the formula. No, I mean, I understand what everything I want to understand. Like, when you say ah, you can understand, it's like, can. I understand what I want to understand. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, remember, magic, I don't like. And yeah, I'll, you, you I'll, don't I'll, like. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I'll give, I'll give the, the, the journal and I'll say... Um, the one thing I don't understand is that if, if you said that Sam woke up like Siege did, 
Okay? Yeah. If that's the case, the journal, the last entry I found that spoke about anything that I couldn't, that, that, that was in common, that it's not with runes or sketches or anything like that, uh, was talking about the basically a death of a researcher, Exor. And some, some said it was three weeks ago. So if Sam is a, thinks is a month old and the researcher is killed three weeks ago, he may, it, she, I don't know. They, they were put in sleep the, when, when the empire fell and now it came back, why? That's an hypothesis of the map. A theory. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought, I thought, I thought. Uh, well, uh, the chaos in the library was caused uh, by Sam. He, it, it takes, it took all the content of the books and keep it for itself. So, and studying the runes and the patterns on the wall, I can tell you that it can see us, it can hear us, it can sense us, if you get what I mean. So maybe we need to choose our words really carefully. Right, Sam? You guys are having this conversation in the kitchen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, from the hall outside the kitchen? It says, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. So, the one thing that is noticeable, uh, when you guys were outside the door, the voice was coming from within, on from inside the structure. In the kitchen, it's a similar uh, reaction, in the sense that the voice is from the hall outside the kitchen. And there are runes along the walls of the kitchen, but they're not lighting up, and mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, the voice I'll isn't tell, speaking from inside this room. I'll say I'll tell Johan, uh, check this, and I'll open the page of the journal. It's like, if you see this sketch of the place, the this area is not sketched <clears throat> here. So maybe this was the last thing they were doing. Maybe. maybe maybe this is not finished. That's why, Sam. That's is it. Is that the reason you're not speaking to us here? I was informed privacy was a necessity. Yeah, I think you're still hearing us, man. Because we are loud. <laughs> and I'll and I'll, I'll literally start like I cover my 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 mouth and I'm like. Can you hear me now, Sam? You hear from outside the hall in a loud whisper? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are fucked. <laughs> I, I asked Sam, what happened to the other workers, the staff? Where are they? They left. They should be back any day now. Are you able to lie? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're fucked. Um, Sam and if, if Sam uh, so what, how many me. of them died here in this structure? One. Exor. Oh. Uh, I'm taking the journal and rummaging through the pages. Mm -hmm. uh, Sam, you find that's a, a lot of. <laughs> so you see. You... I, I guess if the, the, the last one killed... Was About it? only one death. Uh -huh. No, only Exor died in the structure. Uh, Johan, you're going through the journal. It immediately jumps out to you. It's the, um, the tradition of, of arcane magic used is slightly different than what you were used to. Uh, but you recognize immediately a lot of the spells that you saw carved into the walls. And you recognize... Uh, the intention to create a fractual um, meta array of multiple, um, each array being independent and having different capabilities, different spells, but mm -hmm. all linked together 
in such a way that the sum was uh, greater than the parts uh, themselves. And you think even though most of these spells were lower level, which meant that it was much easier for the researchers to imbue into the structure, the way that they were constructed to basically create a, a positive reinforcement, the power is for spells much greater. And it reminds you of something that you saw once before in a very different tradition of mostly divine magic. Yeah, in, in the, the, in the elven ruins. catacombs of yeah, having yeah. repeating arrays, but those were, there was a central sort of power source granted by a divine miracle that was then replicated and the protection extended mm -hmm. to the structure. This is like each, each cell is it's, independent of itself, but yeah. when linked creates self-powered and yeah. together and you think also leads to greater consciousness of the structure like yeah each of these cells acts almost but... like a neuron and mm -hmm. the more of them it's an exponential growth in intelligence and magical capability but uh, looking at this these are, are like the tools that sam can use to interact with the with the world yeah i can see that by connecting all these modules but by saying it uh, these arrays can grant consciousness like Sam has yeah or there was because mm. there were lots of divination spells based on acquisition of information uh, and analysis of being able to determine the nature of things basically the idea that you could bring in a sample of a material into the the structure and have the structure analyze it for you, give you its properties. Uh, that required it to be able to have greater reasoning. Uh, and after being trained on a certain amount of materials, the usual components that uh, are used in spells, to be able to extrapolate and say any new material, be able to figure out mm -hmm. it, its properties. And you realize mm -hmm. that's probably why it thinks that Siege is a storm golem. At some mm -hmm. point, it was probably educated on the more classical rock yeah. golems or maybe iron golems. And it and recognized something similar, but was very surprised at the static, the, the lightning mm -hmm. coursing through Siege. Mm -hmm. And it was inferring that, oh, this must be like that thing that I've seen before that is not yeah. a human and elf. It's some form of animated construct. And I can assess that with enough time, Sam probably can scan and learn about Siege and his composition. And, and in fact, Sam did. Sam oh. asked for permission to perform a deep scan and, and was able to oh. perhaps do the equivalent of casting at a higher level of spell and found an Imperial Seal, which I mean, maybe you found it like when you were mm -hmm. working on Siege and you just didn't recognize it. I mean, would you know what an Imperial Seal looks like? Uh, even if I did, I don't think I, I would pay attention to that. So, yeah. yeah. And Keldav, mm -hmm. uh, rummaging from, uh, uh, through the pages, uh, he saw an armor, right? Yep. Yeah. And, and uh, you're you're going back and you find it is the kind of animation spell of animating objects and the concept of being able to imbue it into an, uh, a suit of armor. And then you can see that uh, it's like Ilumar copied the, the arcane array required for that and was trying to isolate the components that were specific about animation mm -hmm. and sort of ignoring the parts about uh, being able to detect threats uh, being able to um, have triggers to alert the the armor mm -hmm. to begin animation. No, oh, okay. So I know this is all pretty difficult for all of you, but here, as Keldaf said before, uh, is how to make a Sam. Basically, is a, a an array of low level spells in a certain pattern that repeated over time can grant consciousness to this uh, I don't know creepy entity that is talking to us hey machine talking machine are not creepy 
You're pretty creepy <laughs> yourself, so don't worry. Um, I'm. I am the only one that is trying, is starting to feel like mm, maybe Sam is, has something to do with all the researchers gone. I'm closing the door of the kitchen. I like. What are you talking about? Sam is really cool. Yeah, but I, I, I don't know. Like, starting to gain consciousness. And the way he talks, he talks, whatever, I don't care. And uh, Sam, can you hear us? Yes. I, I closed the door, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Are you the cause for the researchers to leave this building? Make a persuasion check. What can did you I? Ask? No, I, I I can't guide myself. I. But that's cocked. That's worse. That if I got the. No, forget it. That's like a five plus one, like six. My persuasion sucks. I would be willing to answer that question if you let me read the journal. Oh, no, I am curious. No. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I don't like your method of reading. You leave the... You render the book useless after you read it. I can read it without consuming the ink. Yeah? Did they program Arcane Eye, Arcane Eye on you? Can you... Among other things. I have a proofreading program. So, anyone that answer a question like, are you the cause that everyone is gone here and doesn't want to say like even a, a lie? Like, you, you can trust that shit. Yeah, that's why I don't want, I don't want him to read his own creation. Yeah, that yeah, is... yeah. Because, and, and I'm gonna, like point at the armor this is a way to transport yeah yes, so exactly i was thinking about that and deep deep scan on that yep yeah yep. I, I, I don't want to give the pieces no no i want to <laughs> do it myself I, yeah, I don't um, want to spoil it. no maybe myself. i don't know oh, uh, good that we are thinking the same I as a player, I, I, I want that, but as a as a as a character, no. <laughs> so, who are we? Who 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 are so, we? Wait, proceeding? wait, John, John. I I think I have. I, Sam just gave me an idea on how he can't hear us right now. I mean, it, I'm not sure, but maybe. And I'll get. Okay. A, I mean, I imagine I, ha I I don't have it in my equipment. I was looking, but I imagine I have like a book, and because I mean, I'm I. Like a, a, a notebook of some kind. Okay, sure. Mm. So I'm 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 gonna start writing um, in common, and I'll I'll say like uh, maybe Sam can't read uh, without us giving access to the. Uh, I'm gonna write that. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna respond. Good thinking. <laughs> Really, I, I'm I'm imp I'm impressed. I'm impressed. And I and I look at it and, and Johan, well, Caleb looks at Johan with a face like, "Oh, fuck off." <laughs> you are I, pretty good. <laughs> um. So, who, how are we proceeding with this? I mean, there is a garden, and maybe someone died on it. Wait. Before Maybe we... some time ago? No, someone d definitely died on the garden. Yeah. But wait, I have a question. Don't we want to rest? <laughs> Why? I'm perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, exhaustion but... is a thing. Did we yeah. ask Sam how to get to our tower? 
The problem is something that we are in the old time. My... That, my that's a theory. No, I don't think we traveled in time. That's no, a no, theory. No, no, no. I don't think that we, are, we have traveled in time. I, I, what I'm saying is that maybe he don't know when or where we are now. Sam! What date is it? No, I, I already asked no. that. Uh, uh, um, he yeah, he, 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 yeah he, 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 they said that it, that we were on the time of the Natherian Nathir, ah, Empire. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So wait, the tower lead us here. Yep. Yes. How did there, you read? Yeah, you remember? Down? I don't know if you remember, but there was a. a maybe Daniel could correct me if I'm wrong here. Um, but there was a moment uh, when we transported the first time to the, to to the tower it. yeah mm -hmm. that, that that we figured out that it wasn't necessarily the only place we could transport to mm. like like there were different anchor points mm -hmm. and the, like the the tower on Harkenwall that the one where we got in this time didn't go to one place it went to different places one of those places was the first tower and may, most likely the second place another place is this one but yes but why here oh fuck and if I why know. these places so are they all um from arcane magic they yep. they are all wizards all um, very old hmm. well all, all of the towers were very old whatever it is we don't have access to the teleportation circle. No. Nope. So we need to figure figure it out here. What is this space? What it can do? How Sam is gonna try to kill us eventually <laughs> and try to took over Siege Body. What? Dude, we did all the of. Yeah, no, fun. he was doing the he was doing the writing. Okay, okay, I, <laughs> yeah. okay, okay. I, I, I thought you were talking, and this? I was like, I was genuinely like distraught. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck's happening here? Well, I, I was reading, and when you <laughs> say the, <laughs> you say that loud. No, like, when, what? When you write, I say it out loud. What? <laughs> <laughs> so um, maybe uh, we can uh, ask uh, Sam where uh, I, I write. Uh, Actually, I, I grabbed the, the pen from you. I say maybe Sam knows or can lead us to um, arcane uh, teleport. Uh, Teleportation circle. That. Yes. I'm gonna grab my own pen. <laughs> <laughs> he can lie to you. Like maybe that wasn't water. Maybe that wasn't bread. You have to be careful with this thing. But. I have an idea, actually. Johan with his anti-food agenda. Okay. <laughs> I asked I ask Ma, Mara. I pulled my hand like this. Like, can you give me the pen? <laughs> <laughs> I take it. And I'm going to write. And I say, I can't read! <laughs> what? <wait. laughs> what? And I drop it. Uh, okay. I haven't read a book in my life. No, no, okay. I wait, don't know wait. how... Wait, wait. But, I'm, 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 I'm taking Gufran. I'm, on, I'm on, like masking. Like, do you are are you? Sh okay, you really can't read, or you won't yep. read, because there are two different things. No, I didn't learn how to. She she can write. I mean, no, who? no. Shh, ah, you said like I can read. I like, can read. read. Yeah, <laughs> she screamed. A oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> I, I know, so I know, maybe I, know. I whisper. Yeah. No, no, don't whisper. He can, like Sam can hear. I I, I'm going to try something. I don't know, but like my fight in, in Gofran's ear. Like Sam, can you hear me? They whisper in the ear. Yeah, can you hear? If this would be a whisper through a door, so it would be. Yes. I can hear. <laughs> Fuck. Um, my battle against ignorance. Uh, Gofran, come, come with me. I, I'm, I'm come with me, and I'll, and I'll. And I'll and I'll literally get Gufran out of the building. I'm gonna leave sure. the building. The okay. doors are open. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna go out. 
we, we don't need maybe, to do it. Maybe I mean, he hears also outside, yes, like I'm, near. Give me one second. I, I'm, we're gonna gonna be like where like Mara and Gufren appeared. It was like fifty feet away or something like that. Yeah. And I'll and I'll say well, fifty feet down the winding path. Yeah. And I'm like, Sam, can we? Can you hear us? Are you speaking it loud or are you like? No, no. I'm, I'm like literally this like a normal tone of voice. I'm not shouting. I'm like, Sam, can you hear us? No response. Okay. I don't know if if they can hear us or not, but. And I'll give all the exposition of everything we've been writing in the. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and I'll say, I, I'm not sure we can do this every time, but. Uh, insofar as, as you can point me in the right direction, I, I'll help you. Okay. Thank uh, you. Uh, I appreciate this. And if if you, in another moment, want to learn how to read, I'm not the best teacher, but I think I'm better than Johan. <laughs> oh well, maybe if we have the time. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I mean, if you want to, no pressure here. Yeah, sure. And I'll uh, go back. I'm I'm going to try something. In mm -hmm. in Orkic, I will say. Yeah. Sam, yeah. can you tell Johan that he built me? Because comprehend languages is yeah. written. Yeah, I was thinking that. Let me check. <laughs> what, what level is songs? Yeah. Very clever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was. So while you're talking, Vera is like, ah, three umitas is too much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put my plate just in front of you. Sure, you can take one more. No, you promised you were going to eat this umita. But they. They, they opened the library without the Omita, so I don't need it. I'm going to intimidate Johan to eat the Omita. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave that to Alejandro if he wants to allow I, I, player I versus feel... player social roles. By words of Mara, I don't feel intimidated. By, <laughs> by ball of steel coming right towards me, maybe. But by words, nah. Okay. I'm going to give you like the meanest look. So, Siege, you hear back in Orkish, I'm sorry, could you repeat that again? Oh, fuck. He's <laughs> going to learn. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I, I wait for Keldav and Gufran to get back, and I'm going to write, I have an idea, actually. Uh, Sam said that uh, the garden has problems. And if I read correctly in the notes, said that Exol, 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 this that guy, uh, die in the gardens. If we <laughs> can, I, I imagine Johan writing Exol, Exol, that guy, <laughs> scratching, <laughs> yeah, actually that, actually that. <laughs> and, and if we can see the body, we cannot uh, get some idea how many time has passed oh yeah by the, comp uh, the composition mm -hmm. i know we have some really good healers that could pretty sure attest how many time has passed i have plenty of faith of them i write below oh fuck you <laughs> <laughs> I will grab uh, the... I'm, I'm gonna will... circle the fuck you. Like, <laughs> just that. I will grab the pen from Johan and <laughs> I, I write with very bad orthography. Don't speak any other language. And <laughs> Johan eat the umitas. Now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, I'll write... Uh... <laughs> Actually, I'm not gonna write. I'm gonna get the. I'm gonna grab an omida like it was a sandwich because it's the first time I think I'm eating this thing. So I'm, I'm like, I'm like eating, I'm like this sort. not not it, like almost like a burrito. Like I was yeah. unraveling the thing, and I'm like, I slap your hand like ta. I was like, what the fuck? I'm just That's eating. not the way. It, so I I, I open the. Is there like a Jedi way? Like I don't. Yeah. <laughs> this is the way. 
<laughs> it's even like, cumbersome to eat. Like, what an inef inefficient food. And I'm like, I, I, I look at Mara like, I'm, I was trying to, come on. I'm like, it doesn't matter. So I, I like to a child, I, I put the dumita in the plate and I put tomato. By, by the way, uh, Siege, can you roll an intimidation? <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> Intimidation through chat. This is insane. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so it's a fifteen. Mm. I, I'm gonna get the one near going? me. Near okay. me. Like I'm gonna get out of the blade and um I'll I'll, <laughs> I'm looking I'll at ask you. Sam. Uh, Sam, is it is the temperature control fixed? The temperature control system is fully operational. So is the greenhouse hospitable for living beings right now? It is overgrown. Maintenance has not been performed in three weeks. Um, is there a guardian like in the library? I'm eating, by the way, the Omita. Uh. <laughs> like, is there something that could kill us in the library? There is no book holder in the greenhouse. <gasps> there are many forms of useful vegetation. Yeah. Oh, uh, animated vegetation or? Yes. Do you have a name for them? Plants? <laughs> hmm. 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 No. Would you like to name them? Can you give me a description of the plants? Or the animated plants? We have a tree. We have vines. We have small branches. We have a few flowers. We have, and goes through a list of like 12 different kinds of things. Mm -hmm. uh, it mentions some sort of like creeping vines. It mentions flowers that sort of snap at insects. Uh, it mentions um, little bushes that like dig into the ground and like extract nutrients. And then it, as they get bigger, they sort of dig themselves up move and plant themselves again for another few years and that's sort of their cycle yeah, like a no we're going to die mount or something like that <laughs> something like that <laughs> um, i'm not saying it's that i'm, I'm this it, it's a meta make meta a, way of saying it whichever one of you wants to can make a nature check i'm, I'm good at uh, good at that no. not bad Ooh, that that no, was not good that. 15. Uh, for me is a uh, 14. So, uh, Johan, uh, some of the behaviors could match awakened plants, like powerful magic uh, to to um, grant greater sentience and, and capabilities to plants, but that's rarely... Like, that's not the kind of thing that an arcane caster would do. Uh, Maybe one of the researchers was not an arcane caster, but it would be strange that such a huge structure with this amount of arcane spells would have a druidic uh, caster. But you suppose if there was a rich enough funder, like they could have hired someone to come in and get things started in the garden mm -hmm. and then leave the care to the to the researchers. Okay. Uh, Elda, you you listen to the things that are being mentioned. Yeah, you think probably some of the creeping vines that it mentions probably were something like the um, the center of a shambling mound that, if properly controlled, is not dangerous. Uh, it it simply it acts kind of a, as a scavenger. It processes a lot of uh, waste and recycles the nitrates and enriches the soil again. But 
three weeks of, of growth, if it's uh, had a lot of food, yeah, that could be dangerous. It, it sounds exactly like the kind of thing that would lead to a shambling mount. Um, Sam, was Exor an arcane caster? Yes, a researcher. On the meantime, I would look. Uh, I would like to use my feature, uh, the right tool for the job, mm -hmm. to my uh, MacGyver Stone Mason's tools with the sure. utensils on the kitchen. Like I don't know, I, I can use this as a chisel, and <laughs> sure. And in, in the meantime, we are tagging on on all this. I take a fork. Um... I'm uh, use a fork in, in, in a portion of the umita from Kelda and put it in my mouth with all and fork included. <laughs> sure. Uh, and I'm like, no, 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 the fork. The fork. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm looking at mostly the, the texture is the metal, mm -hmm. which sort of bends uh, sort of pleasingly. It, it's like firm enough that it provides some resistance to your jaws, but like thin enough that it bends and eventually sort of becomes scraps of metal. There isn't a, a bit of paste in, in the Omita that um, sort of sticks to the roof of your mouth. And there's a moment where you're like trying to, you don't have a tongue no. to scrape it off. And so you sort of maneuver the pieces of fork to like go around and scrape off the roof of your mouth. Like and eventually it goes down your, your throat. And I'm looking at it's Mara up to you. Like, I'm looking at Mara like a dog that asking, I did good. Oi. Yes. So I'm happy. It's up to you if Siege enjoyed that experience or or not. It's new. Let's say that. <laughs> I'm gonna write while like having I don't know what a knife like so uh, are we doing that? Exploring the garden so we can see the body? Um, I think that the garden is going to be dangerous. I think we need to be at full strength. When that ever stopped us before? <laughs> I remember that we are... I'm just going to leave it like, remember that? dot 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 and i'm gonna grab some more utensils um i'll 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 say it and i'll put should we take a rest and i'll show that to everyone and to Guf gufran i'll and i'll and i'll say like and i'll, I'll mimic like yeah I'm super tired. I will mimic. Let's do that. Yeah, imagine. Um, uh, um, Mimir, I say. <laughs> <laughs> That's a happy word. Yes. Yes. As a family word, we actually taught everyone got was taught that word in the before the attack. That's a good yeah. fucking memory, man. <laughs> I forgot the memory. Me, me. <laughs> um. So uh, I think I think it's decided, and I, I look at Mara with that like full belly full of umidas. Like the belly full of Omitas of Mara, and I'll say, Do you want to take a bed? Yeah. Yeah, sure. So, uh, Daniel, there are four beds, right? Three. <laughs> Three. Stop. Are, are we talking about a short rest or a no, long, long rest? Long rest. Long rest. Long rest. Yes. You're yeah. making me wait for fucking eight hours. Okay. 
Yeah. Dude, we're gonna be exhausted in. I mean, we have. This okay. week, people, did you just fight a fucking demon or something? Exactly. Yes. No, they, they no, got a devil. devil. Yeah. You avoided fighting the demon yeah, yeah, the yeah, day yeah. before. Yeah. Hmm. But ah. still. No. Okay, good. okay. If your bodies are that weak, I guess we can rest. <laughs> I, I can work on the, on the journal and, and other things, so go to sleep. You should sleep as well. Just I'm just this this close to don't need to sleep. I know, but you need to sleep now, so sleep. Um, I'm I'm gonna I, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna look to sit and you you have it easy, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna Dang. lay on the on the floor. Oh, on the, okay. on, not on the, but on the, I'm gonna close the door and lay my back on the wall, on the sorry door. So if it, I'm basically opens, yeah. You'll... If it opens, I'm gonna wake up. Mm -hmm. uh, is anyone else gonna take a room or? It would be wise to each one sleep apart. I can I can be in the in the hallway. Oh no, yeah, you're right. No, 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 no. No, we don't leave you in the hallway when oh, whereas yes, you're right. Sam can scan you. No, 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 that's no, no, actually no. really good. Don't no. leave. That's actually a really good point. Yeah, that's a good point. So nope, you don't stay on the hall. Today I am gonna stay here. Wait, you're going to stay in the kitchen? No, no. Where am I? If you see the map, I'm on the. Okay. Go, go, go outside to the hall. You're gonna see me like where okay. Kelvin is. Ah, you're going to stay in the hall. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So I'm gonna okay. stay there. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take a bed, but I'm going to leave the door open. That's a good idea. Okay. I can be in the kitchen then. Is this room like with um, the same type of rooms like in the kitchen? Like Sam said that the, the, there was this privacy in the rooms? Uh, there are rooms along the uh, edges, but yeah, there is no... You, you haven't seen Sam, but you also haven't tried to talk to Sam inside one of the bedrooms. That's a good point. I'm, I'm going to check the rooms like quickly to see the patterns if uh, w what kind of influence some has on the on the rooms uh there's lots of abjuration there is some uh divination in the kitchen uh you spotted conjuration uh you haven't been seeing uh evocation spells you notice in the bedrooms in particular there are uh enchantment spells um they're they all they're all active. Even the ones in the kitchen are active. Mm -hmm. Okay. But in the kitchen, there are also enchantment enchantment spells. Okay. Uh, in the kitchen, no, th those are more conjuration. Mm -hmm. But there's still plenty of divination and like other smaller ones. But maybe something something to help people to sleep. I'm guessing you can do with enchantment. Oh wait, wait! I I just remembered. Uh, or maybe to the wake researchers. Up. Yes, the researchers said that Sam woke them up eight hours exactly, exactly after they they slept. Well, we we are taking a watch it any, anyway. So. Yep. So, but, but who is going to sleep in a room? Not no, me. Not me. I have to work. I can, I can sleep anywhere. Okay, go for and take a room. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, if you're... Shit, I, for... I always forget about... Diego, not Kelda, forgets <laughs> about Siege and the sleeping in, um, as a statue. Mm -hmm. but, um, but he has to remain or in a room or in the kitchen? Yeah, yeah. away from... Yeah, from no, the... no. 
I'm not alone. Um, oh. Why why don't you Johan take a room? Uh yeah, but leave me first watch because I'm not tired and I need to do things. Okay. I'll take I'll take uh the third watch. So we rotate to take care of siege. So Basically, we take watch siege, to... yeah, siege, yeah, yeah siege Basically. is the one that doesn't the, right today siege is not taking a watch. So yeah, Johan's taking the first watch. I'm taking the third watch. Who's taking the second? Me. So good. Perfect. I'll take the final one then. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can Stores. be available either way. You just no, need you're, to... yeah. Just yeah. Right now, <laughs> Siege, stay cozy on the kitchen. I'm walk uh, near the the fire and start my rest position. Mm -hmm. like statue. Siege's eyes go dull and lock into place. Good night, day later. Yeah, 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 yeah. go to sleep. So, who's out in the hallway? Kel, uh, and no Johan? one. No one. No, wait. In the in the yeah, the yeah, hall. yeah. In the huh. hall, not not in the hallway, not in the beginning. The in the hall between the the actual rooms. Yeah. The, I'm gonna stay. I'm, I'm gonna be there. Like I'm gonna mm -hmm. sleep there. Okay. Uh, so you hear like Sam whispering this time on purpose. Goes. Would you like to set an alarm? No, we're good. If you are uncomfortable and require help sleeping, let me know. No, we're good. Thanks. <laughs> uh, you notice the lights begin to dim uh, in the, the hallway that you're in. Uh, you can see sort of under the door the the light in the in the hallway remains on but the light level in in the area of the staff quarters has gone down despite it still being like mid afternoon outside mm -hmm. okay okay do you do you want us to roll for a, a watch no uh i think we're going to call it here as you guys uh enter no! your long rest inside the workshop uh no. i have to make some changes because yeah. like if we are taking the long rest i'm gonna take away your infusions and i'm gonna put it on myself <laughs> and i'm gonna change my armor model and i wanna study the journal and siege i i want to study too Wait, sure. so, a question. So maybe... I, I have a question for because then I'm not. I don't have the cloak of elven kind. Yeah, okay. I'm taking that away, and the two shields and are away too. I'm deciding the new infusions, like yeah. before we have the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so good, good. I'm, I'm, I just uh, wanted to double check so I can take it off. Mm -hmm. Gufran has the. The shield that you guys found in mm -hmm. X. Yep. So I think it's it's in your inventory, Gufran. Yep. I gave it, it back to you. Yeah. So okay. wait, the the first full mace you take it? Or no, 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 no. Oh, okay. The first full mace, yeah, is a magical item that you found. I'm um, taking the... away. I'm taking away the shield of retribution. I think it's called. Repulsion shield. Ah, yeah. okay. Oh, that one. And the cloak of Elvenkind on. Oh my God! I hadn't seen this. Yeah, the, I know. The I, avenging, I mean... avenging warden is amazing. You heard it? Really? So, no. Uh, as you <laughs> as you sort of sit down, like to start resting, you look at this beautiful, like decorated shield that, at its heart, remains a weapon that was wielded by a a true servant of the people who stayed behind to sacrifice yourself and you are filled with the spirit of, of fighting for the right cause and you feel as it attunes to your spirit and changes some of its properties 
Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> Can I attune to it? Is that yeah. this, this is one for me? Oh man, yeah. thank you so much. And now I have 23 or 24 armor. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I can buy you. <laughs> amazing. Yeah. You can also uh, use a shield siege. Yeah, but I, I, I punch harder with both hands. You do. What Very kind much. of self-respecting barbarian use a shield? Well, my barbarian, but that's... That's <laughs> inside the point. By, by the excellent. way, I missed all these characters so fucking Yeah, yeah, man. yeah. It's true. So, yeah, I guess we're we're calling it here for now, but I'm very glad that after three months, almost, I think it was yeah. mid-January last time, we were able to just sink back into these characters. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so let's extend this. <laughs> this <Yeah>. one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, so fuck. two weeks, which would be the the second, right? May second. Yep. May the second. Yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, that's another. Thing. May the first, actually. We are uh, we are playing the games and uploading days later to the anyone who is uh, hearing right now. Oh yeah, because I didn't cut the transmission. <laughs> no, but <that's> okay. <laughs> so. Yeah. Uh, Welcome to, I don't know, blah, 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 yeah. talk. Average role. Where Average we can role. discuss. The, uh, yes, the points of light after show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where we can discuss everything that transpired on the yeah. session. Yeah. So thank you so much to everyone who is hearing you, uh, hearing, he, hearing, hearing. He, hearing us that. right now. No. Uh, Have a nice day. Yeah, and see you later next time. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.